And we're back in the saddle again. Okay. Okay. I'm following him around. Why? I'm watching you cook. How much milk was that? Quarter yes. of a cup? Quarter of a cup to three eggs. I think he could have gotten by with one egg, but he's the chef today. By the way, these are extremely popular all over the Midwestern regions of the United States. However, I'm a California girl at heart still, and I do not like these. But I don't know anybody here who doesn't. And that they will go out and risk Lyme disease to get them. And I got Lyme disease, and I've never been mushroom hunting. <laughs> I think I just got it in the air from moving here. Okay, so. Right. Here's the pretty morels, all different colors of light to dark. Those they have been soaked, correct? That's right. To get all the buggies out and debris and brushed. Uh -huh. And then you cut them in half. I'm, I don't know, I've never cooked them. Yeah. Oh, that one says squeeze. Well, that's because they've been soaked. Wouldn't you just cook those? No, because in case you got People hate that glass, cutting on that glass. Yeah? Yeah, it hurts their ears. Well, if somebody quit There's a plastic getting rid one of there. the wooden one. There's a plastic one right behind the hot chocolate. Wood carries bacteria, unless it's good wood. How much wood would a good wood wood would it cut? Cut wood, cut wood. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Back to, back to this. <sighs> well, the reason you cut them open is to make sure there's, you, you soaked all the bugs. There's no little extra bugs in there. Oh, bugs! That would be yeah. gross. Eliminate the chance of extra protein. Always be careful. Just a disclaimer. Know your mushrooms before you eat them, especially when they're picked in the wild. There is a poisonous variation of these morels. I think they're black, aren't they? It's a fake morel. You'll have to Google it, but just make sure you know what you're doing because mushrooms can be deadly. But these are perfectly safe. I hope. For his sake. <laughs> now these are morels. Okay. Okay. Now what, now what, now what, now so what? So I already dried them. So basically now. Can you throw them in um, the flour? Yeah. I'm oh. Gonna turn my oven on. I'm gonna You're going to cook them up fairly high, right? Really? That low? On about six, just a little above medium heat. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. He's using an old no, no, pan. No, six, six and a half. We'll, we'll try six and a half first. If it gets, um, if it gets too uh, hot. Six and a half. All right. Which is so, great if you have an electric stove. If you have a gas stove, it's just going to be a little over medium heat. Right. And ordinarily, I would already had that preheating, but uh, I it slipped his mind. Got distracted. He's getting old. That ain't what it is. What's the matter with Sharing my space. I am all up in his business over here. So yeah, so. They're all pretty clean. Yeah, they look good. There's, I don't see anything in any of them. They all look pretty good. Okay. Once my oil gets heated up, I will go uh, flour, egg, flour, pan. Ta-da! Ta-da! So we're just waiting for that to get hot, so I'll... Mm. And the reason I'm not in this one, so that I don't have to like drape it all the way across this, is because I'm still sharing my space. Because I'm in its way. I'll stand over here. I'm okay. I can, I, I'm squishing up in the corner. We have a very small kitchen, a little galley okay, kitchen. Okay, well then I can turn this one on then. Yeah, sure. But 
Don't, of course you can. Yeah, just don't put your hand down on it this time. I never put my hand uh, down on the stove. Have I ever burned myself yes. like that? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It must have traumatized me to the point of not remembering it. Mm -hmm. That's what made you allergic to the kitchen. Uh, beg your pardon. Don't beg. Hey. It's unbecoming. Hey, it's not. It's not unbecoming. My bloomers. Which ones? The white ones or the black ones? <laughs> I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm seriously wearing black glimmers right now. Okay, he's on the road now. You've got to share some space. Gosh, we need a bigger kitchen. Okay. So, we're going to watch him do flour, egg, flour, fry. Oh, let's see the good stuff. Scoop it around in there. What do you got in the flour? Um, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and that's it. Yeah, you don't want to over flavor it. You don't want to take away from the flavoring right. of the mm. shrimps. Hang on, I'm going around the other end. I'm a terrible videographer. Mm, dip it down in there. Goes in the egg and it goes back in the flour. Mm -hmm. So, Did you test your flour by dropping some in the oil to make sure your oil's ready? Yep, it's ready. Ooh, listen to the sizzle. The sizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> Old school and dumb. Oh, they smell like bell peppers. Why? That's weird. I've never watched someone fully cook these before, so I'm learning. It's a family to, tradition. You have to make sure you let them cook long enough to get it. At least six minutes is what I read, because yeah. I did some research. You got to remember what order you put them in. Yeah, so you know which ones come out first. Yeah. He normally has these for breakfast. This is like a midnight snack. How many did he get? Our son-in-law went out and got 65, 75 Something of them. Something like that, yeah. Got a good haul. I mean, and these are expensive if you try to buy these. And you know, what I just found out is, is that, you know, um, in Turkey, they are like, like huge. A delicacy? And, yeah, and it's like everybody, like, tries to get them, and they're like, so. I'd never heard of them before I moved out here. Huh. I just knew those little button mushrooms and nothing wild. We didn't dare eat any wild mushrooms, but out here people will eat like uh, dandelion leaves and poke, poke salad and all kinds of weeds. They'll just eat them. Mushrooms, wild mushrooms like this. I guess we just have a lot of good produce in California, so we don't need to scavenge in the woods. Unbelievable. <laughs> like scavengers. No, I've lived here for, what, 20-something years? Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I don't know if my dad, I bet my dad never tasted these. I wonder what he would have thought. Because my dad did... He was a, a survivalist, and he ate, he lived up in the mountains in California, and he ate, like, cactus and fried he cacti. He ate everything that Bigfoot ate. <laughs> Bigfoot was his buddy. Sasquatch. All right. They're cooking in a circle because, for some reason, our pan bubbled up in the center, and this is the only pan I'll let him cook with. Yeah, it's my cook pan. That's his cook pan. Okay, I'll let those brown up and I'll come back and show you how they're looking. Okay. He's turning them. Just that's how they're golden. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. I still won't eat them, but it looks good. 
So you want to cook them to look like fried chicken? Kind of? Uh, I'll just do a golden brown. Oh, yeah, I guess. If you say so. <laughs> I don't know. And so, so you can see here, he has a pan, like a little baking dish with paper towels in it to collect the excess oil. So as they come off, out of the fry, it goes in there. And how would you normally serve these? You can serve them like with a ranch dip or a, like you would a normal fried mushroom? Me personally, I like mine with scrambled eggs. Well, that's... But, yeah, that's your, but, you'd like them for breakfast. But, yeah, I mean, however, I mean, they're just, You can make up any kind of a them. dipping sauce or just eat them plain or yeah. fry them in your scrambled eggs? Um, no, I usually fry mine like this first and then do my scrambled eggs and then I just uh -huh. mix them. Interesting. Yeah. This is way less space invasive if I'm on the other side of the bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're coming out though. Hang on. I think I would serve it with a ranch dip for a... Um... A hamburger dip. Oh yeah. I think so. It's mm. by the looks of it. I've tasted them once. My daughter-in-law's mom, uh, her parents have Sunday dinners every Sunday, and one time when we were there for Sunday dinner, she made them, and everybody talked me into trying one. So I did try it, and it's it's meaty. If you're vegan, these are a great option. Of course, you wouldn't use the eggs. If you're vegetarian, you could use the eggs. But uh, it's a great, I think it'd be a great meat substitute because I was vegan and vegetarian for many years. So he's going on batch two. I'm gonna come around and get a close up of that. So I think I could get really creative and make something meaty out of this. A meat substitute dish. Yeah, I might do that sometime, but they're just so hard to come by. I don't want to risk ruining them. But those look really good. But I'll pass. <laughs> kind of like frog legs, you know what I mean? Mm. Still but. haven't tried those. My daughter loves them. La 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 la. These would probably go good with that. Could yeah. Hillbilly food is what I call it. Look how he cooks. Then he leaves it for me to clean up. Seriously. <laughs> Truthfully. Small chef. <laughs> I love you. All right, and to our little ones, our grand chitlins, if you ever <laughs> find these, uh, oh, our, well, we have, our youngest grandson is a pro at finding these. You always want to take him with you. He can eyeball him like an eagle. But, um, yeah, if you ever want to know how Papa made his fried mushrooms, fried morels, this is how. So, for the sake of prosperity, we're passing on a legacy here. But just remember, Grandma never liked them. So it's okay, she don't either. It makes the oil dirty. Well, that's just the, uh, the... That flour fry? Flour, yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, but you're slow. <laughs> trying to focus here, <laughs> trying to focus. He doesn't like people in his face. 
dredge it. Dredge it good. Mm. Oh, you know what else you could make? A, a bloomin' onion. This could just be a whole appetizer dish. Fried mushrooms, bloomin' onions, and... Alright, I'll come back and show you when he's done with his batch. Basically the same thing. He's gonna cook them approximately three minutes on each side. Correct? That's correct. Okay, I'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, the last batch is ready. Ooh. It smells good. Oh. Oh, this look almost overdone. That's a whole mess of mushrooms. Will these store and keep? Mm. No. Oh, they would, yeah. If I allowed it to happen. Oh, but you're going to eat them all? Well, probably have some tomorrow. So when's the best time to find them? Um, during the blooming of the lilac. When our lilacs bloom. I have a big lilac bush outside. So when that blooms, that's when you're looking for them. And there they are. Let me hold one up close for you to see what it looks like. It's crispy. It's, there's a big one. It's a fried crispy mushroom. Cool.